nope, 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 nope. There definitely isn't. There definitely is not an obsidian skin potion down there. Hello, everybody. My name is Bird the Gamer, and today we are back with another one of our um, 1.4 um, Zenith Quest episodes. So in the last episode you saw that we went up against the big bad boss Skeletron, Mr. Skeleton over here. Saved the old man from his curse. We went down into the depths, the deep dark depths of the dungeon, grabbed a couple stuff. I actually went there uh, after the last video to kind of like clean it out a bit more. Uh, I can't remember what exactly we got. We can look through like all this, like, yep. Yeah. And so, <clears throat> I thought we got a shadow key in the dungeon, so I thought it was about time we went on a bit of an underworld raid. And so, I think we're going to do that. We are going to need, eventually, a um, voodoo doll to sacrifice Mr. Connor here, unfortunately. Sorry. Your time will, your time will come to an end very soon. I am sorry to tell you. But yeah, you are going to die at some point for the greater good of the series. Before we head down there, we're probably going to need some potions. I don't have any good potions. That'd be good for the underworld, though. Like, what would I need? Like, I can't think of anything that I'd really need. Like, I was thinking, oh, actually, obsidian skin. I'll take that. Definitely. I'll take a shine. Just because I like shine. I'll take a spelunker potion. Uh, might as well summon our little slimy because we got a slime staff And then we'll head down into the underworld off screen as well Um, if I go over here to the big hole we dug a few episodes back Something that's kind of hard So what I found is a good way to find life crystals is to just put on a mining potion and just throw bombs <laughs> Just to mine down in any way possible an area I cannot mine down I continued the big, I'm not gonna die in the big hole this time because I actually have a lucky horseshoe. But I actually, as you can see, continued the big hole to a path that goes all the way down into the underworld. I also found this stylist woman here. Is her name Malaya, I think? Um, I might as well say hello. Um, yeah, Malaya. I offered Teddy Moo a free trim, but he refused. I mean, he could have at least worked on his mustache. That's the tavern keep, I think. Uh, I can change my hair. Steven, you don't need to change your hairstyle. You are perfect the way you are, Mr. Man. Um, anyway, yeah, we're gonna head to the underworld, loot a couple shadow chests, see exactly what we can get. Actually, one thing we need to do is get uh, an obsidian skull. And I probably should have done that first. But, in fact, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna teleport home quickly because I also set up a pylon in the um, <clears throat> underground with the goblin and the um, mechanic. I move them together so we can get down here really quickly. And um, I actually need to make an obsidian s skull. Yep, that's correct. Um, to then make an obsidian shield out of the cobalt shield that I have somewhere. I swear I have it. Is it in here? I got a pig. That's where I keep all my money, though. In fact, I might as well put my money in here. I think I have a shield. I think it's equipped on my socials? No? No, it's not. No, it's definitely not equipped on my socials. Um, uh, whatever. We'll, we'll find the shield when it matters. Come on, guys. I don't know why you guys are panicking so much. We need this obsidian. Oh, we, all, we also need to not burn. That'd be great if we just didn't burn in the lava. Um, how much obsidian do we need? Uh, let me just grab a bunch. I think like 25 would be a good number. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna drown. That's not great, but you know what? It ever works, I guess. Except drowning does not work. Drowning is not what's ideal right now. Um... This is so difficult, traversing around a dark cave where you can't see a thing. And also where there's random, like, blocks everywhere blocking you from, like, rocketing. Um... Kill you. You need to die. Another thing I did, I went into the jungle and some other places to look for a couple accessories that we needed. In fact, that's probably where the, um, cobalt shield is. 
Um, I cannot make the obsidian skull here. Let's try home. Let's try to go home. Maybe it's the, oh yeah, it's the furnace. It used to be the tinkerer's workshop. Here we need the obsidian skull. It, the, the, the prefix doesn't really matter because, yeah, let's look on this. We got a um, anklet of the wind and a cobalt shield, which are two, I cannot grab it. Um, oh, I can't grab it. Um, get rid of stone, I guess. That was the pause button. <laughs> Dang it! Stop pressing the wrong buttons! Anyway, um, that's what I think we need. Yeah, add glue. Yeah, we have... I need to make a few accessories, actually. In fact, we probably need, need the ice skates, too, because we can make something out of those as well. Um, ice skates... Um... In fact, we're probably gonna need another obsidian skull, now that I think of it. Yeah, we're gonna need two. <laughs> Um, yeah, let me grab another obsidian skull. I'll cut ahead until I grab it, and then we'll, we'll be right back. Came back, guys. I just made another obsidian skull. It didn't take that long. But yeah, the reason we need these is because we can make some stuff. First things first, we can make an obsidian shield. Jagged. Mm, we can do better than that, probably. Uh, we can make our menacing water walking boots into some obsidian water walking boots. Which we'll need eventually. Uh, then we can take our specter boots and our aglet, combine it with the um, combine the two with the anklet of the wind, make lightning boots. Allows flight, super fast running. And phew, bless me. Um, eighteen percent increased movement speed, or eight percent. Sorry, I I can't read for some reason. So let's put these on. Actually, let's probably get a better reforge. Wait, no, we actually need to combine them again with the ice skates this time to make frost spark boots. Those didn't have a modifier at all. So, Nogs, um, you have the best name. Can you give me the best reforges? Lucky will be great. Uh, put that on. As for the obsidian shield, we can get uh, arcane, no, hasty, no, quick, Warding, that is good. Um, so yeah, we got all these. That's basically what I wanted, wanted to do there. Now we can actually go to the underworld, which is what I said we'd do. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just had to do that quickly. Trust me, it was worth it. Um, now let's head down to the underworld. Um, it's not going to take that long. In fact, you could probably watch it. It's probably pretty satisfying just watching me go down here. I like spinning, like, if I have a flail, like the blue moon or something that lights stuff up, I like just spinning it when I'm going down, like, like this, like, elevator shaft. Yeah. And I decided not to dig through the, um, mushroom biome solely because, like, if we need to fish for mushroom fish, like, it's a weird sentence for some reason. We need to fish for something in the mushroom biome, and there's lots of water there, so that'd be a perfect place to do it. I found a lot of spider biomes, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm underground. Um, yeah, but I definitely found... Uh, spider biomes, but I also found the underworld if I head down here. I have not been in the underworld yet. I've been waiting for the video to woo. This place is cool. You get big healing potions. That's cool. These pots are actually worth breaking. Do I have the music on? Uh, yeah, it is on. Like in the last episode, after fighting the boss, I forgot to turn the music back on. You guys didn't get to hear the beautiful music that played in the dungeon. I'm, I sincerely apologize. Let's put on our buffs. Um, and like, Splunker, why the feet do it? Okay, that didn't do much. Maybe we should, no, I don't want to zoom out, actually. Because, like, I can't see a thing right now. Um, I killed a snail. That's unfortunate. We're probably gonna need that snail later. Okay, fish for a, um, lava charm, I think it's called. Yeah, we're gonna need a, um, a lava charm. For the ultimate endgame Terra Spark Boots. Um, but they can be found in freaking chests. But they're like the rarest of the rare. I've searched so many chests. I didn't find them. So it's gotten to the point where I mo mostly use them for... Um, I mostly get them through fishing. Because you can get them through crates. Um, which is great. <laughs> which is great. Um... Mm, yeah, where are these chests? There's supposed to be shadow chests down here. Like, I got a lot of lot to do in, down here. Like, I gotta make a piece for the ultimate endgame zenith. I gotta do all sorts of crap. There's so much I have to do. 
and not a lot of time to do it. So if like, it could just give me like a couple, a couple, you know, shadow chests. This is why we made the obsidian skull is because of this house here. Ooh, I don't want to go down there. That is lava. <clears throat> yeah, that house right there, it's made out of, ooh. I have a uh, water obsidian skin potion, so I should be fine. If I mine down here, actually. We could probably kind of, like, move the lava down to there so it's not up here, just so I'm more comfortable. Anyway, let's see what's in here. Treasure magnet. Uh, Life force potion. That's actually pretty good. <clears throat> Fire blossoms we can just get at home. Ow, oh, freak. I'm being hit by stuff. That's the thing about the underworld. You can't sit still. Uh, increased pickup range. We don't really need that. Like, we could get that, but I don't really want it. Like, I just, I, I know I just pick it up, be like, oh, that's cool, and then never use it. And I don't want to pick up something that I know blatantly I'm not going to use. Oh, that's a daemon. That's a daemon. That's a daemon. We got a daemon on us. We got a daemon. Oh, no. Call the police. We got a daemon. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, what's down here? There's so, we actually need this new furnace, this um, forge right here. Because that helps us craft some some stuff, uh, craft some bars, which will then in turn craft into some stuff. Because the normal furnace isn't hot enough, I don't know. <laughs> it's terraria logic, am I right? Uh, let me sit down here. Ow! That's a worm! There's a giant bony worm, and I don't know what to think about it. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, you guys in the comments, tell me whether or not you were liking this series. I'm actually, um, trying to experiment a bit with this series, like, as to, like, this is, like, the first series where I've really taken into consideration, like, the editing, like, how things work, like, the thumbnail, like, oh, that's lava down there, but there also might be a shadow chest. Nope, there's not. That's a lava. <laughs> yeah, this is the first series I've really taken into consideration, like, all the different factors that go into a series. Like, I kind of did that in the other series, but I didn't really care as much as I did in this series. Why do I have wooden arrows? Why do I have a bomb? Throw the bomb. Just commit an act of terrorism. Just right here. Yeah, I've been experimenting a bit. Uh, tell me how much you like it because like, you know, I want to make sure that future series are like the best I can make them. And after this, I'm actually going to do a um, live stream series. I think I've decided um, trying to beat Terraria Hardcore. Because, ooh, there's some good stuff in there. Mm, thorns. I can't pick up half the stuff. Um, oof. Can I just press loot all and see what I can take? This is why I have the money. <gasps> yes, there's a voodoo daemon. Um, I need the voodoo doll for the voodoo daemon. Um, voodoo, oh no, I don't want to kill the voodoo daemon above the lava, because that is a recipe for disaster. Why are there so much stuff? Okay. No, no, voodoo. Oh my gosh, if that was above lava, we would have died. <laughs> um, yep, we gotta be careful for the voodoo daemons. Mostly because if they drop their doll into the lava... It'll summon a wall of flesh, which is the big bad boss that we need to beat to get into hard mode. And I am not ready to beat it yet. I We've beaten all the bosses relatively easy so far, but it's not happening. Like, we're not fluking the wall of flesh like that. That's just not how the world works. Like, I've already almost died just trying to take some, like, crap out this chest. I've put a bunch of crap in the chest. <laughs> Heck. Oh, th I was putting stuff in the chest and not in the actual... Um, pig. That's embarrassing. Slice of hell cake. What does this do? Someone's a baby imp. Um, is that better? We've not even used the mini minotaur, like, at all. Yeah, it's hidden. That's the thing. How do I unhidden it? I don't think I can. That's unfortunate. However, one thing I can do is probably, um, take this, uh, toss this stopwatch out the way. Summon it and then put it here. Did that work? Oh, we got a something. 
We got uh, a magma stone. That's pretty cool. Um, why is my inventory so full? Oh, we got that teleportation potion as well. Don't think I didn't see that. Um, we're gonna definitely use that probably near the end when we're heading out just to see where it takes us because usually they take us somewhere pretty cool um and we're gonna see where where exactly that is so yeah stay tuned till the end of the episode to see exactly where this will take us i gotta be careful because i no longer have obsidian skin activated is there an obsidian skin potion down here, I think? Nope, 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 nope. There definitely isn't. There definitely is not an obsidian skin potion down there. Here, we are gonna want a Sun Fury and also a Dark Lance. Those are two weapons that are very good at dealing with the Wall of Flesh, the imminent fight that we're gonna inevitably need to do that we almost activated and almost died. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need those, which is why I'm looking for the Shadow Chess. Not because I want pets or treasure magnets or, like, bows. The, the bow is actually pretty good, but we're doing this as a pretty, kind of a melee, kind of a melee summoner now because I got the slime staff and didn't feel like not using it. Yeah, this is, oh, we have more obsidian skin potions, it's fine. We're just wading through the lava. Like, this is like... This is why we're going to need the Terra Spark Boots, because you could just wade through the lava without even the need of obsidian skin. Except you can't do it for as long. You can only do it for like seven seconds, which is unfortunate. But, you know, it's the seven second rule. A lot of this is probably going to get cut out the video. It's not too interesting. It's just me wandering around the, um, the underworld looking for shadow chests. If there's something happened, like I die a hilarious death, Ooh, speaking of which, I might want to put my coins away. Yep, there. Yeah, if I die a little- Ooh! Uh, this chest- I got another bow! I don't want your bows! Um... Please say there's, like, more in, like, an easily accessible place. Um... I'm searching all throughout these houses. There's not been one house that has had a shadow chest inside it so i don't know why i even bother why do i even bother i don't know we are going to want to reach the edge of the world because that's where the houses don't spawn and if you don't know about the wall of flesh you're going to really want like a long path to run across <clears throat> and you don't really want the houses to get in your way so you're going to want to start at the edge of the world and also, the thing is with the Wall of Flesh, is it's a, it's a time limit boss. So, like, basically what how it works is if you, like, spawn it, like, let's say here, like, it's going to go this? Well, I don't know. I don't actually know which way it'll go. It'll go this way. Like, if, it's, if you spawn it here, it'll go, like, to the right. But if it reaches the edge of the world in the opposite direction, it'll actually eat you and kill you. So, to prevent that from happening, I'm going to want to start it at the edge of the world. Um, it, does that make sense? I'm pretty sure that does make sense. Oh my gosh, I just turned up my brightness and, like, I can see again. It's beautiful. Such a beautiful, just absolute terror that is the underworld. Oh, that's a big pool of lava right there. That's a big... Oh, whoa, boy. That's a big one right there. That's a big boy. Oh. Um, where are these shadow chests? I've gone so far and not seen hardly any shadow chests. And so far, so fast, because of these beautiful lightning boots... That I crafted at the beginning and haven't seen shadow chest we're at the part of the world now where houses don't spawn we're at the edge we made it to the edge of the world congratulations we made it to the edge which means we're probably gonna teleportation potion uh, because I don't care okay guys so let's see where this potion takes us three two one boom it's taking us to the desert 
And there's a cactus bullity here, so you know exactly what we gotta do. Hit it. That nearly killed us. <laughs> that was a bad idea. See ya. I'm gonna cut ahead quickly because I'm gonna need to mine up some stuff in the underworld because we are gonna, at the end of this episode, craft um, a piece of the Knight's Edge, which is one of the future components to the to the sword. And um, also off camera, I'm probably gonna build a runway and loot up the rest of the underworld so we're ready for the Wall of Flesh because we're probably, hopefully, fighting in the next episode. We're probably gonna need a bit more. But hopefully we're ready for in the next episode. Hopefully we are. I'm pretty sure we will be. Um, yeah, so yeah, see you basically when we have enough stuff. Okay, guys, we are back here in the surface. We, as you can see, grabbed a lot of L-stone because we are going to need it um, for a bunch of things we're going to make. So first things first, we're going to get rid of this furnace because this furnace sucks, actual butt. Um, and we're going to put the, the new one. And in fact, we're going to probably get rid of the old furnace. Can, do you want it? Do you want my old furnace? Hey, did you just come from Nogs? You literally lives. You're like next to him. <laughs> Like, and of course I didn't c come from Nog. You saw me go from the the pylon. Okay, you know what? It's fine. I need obsidian to make um, bars. But here's what I want to know. Because you need three bars for... You need three ore and one obsidian for each bar. I feel like if we just grab a bunch... Where's the demolitionist? All the way over there? How many bombs do I have? Four scarab, 94, regular. Here, okay, so here's what I mandate. We go down here to where our obsidian kind of farm is. We, if first things first, we blow through a easier way to get there. Because we're probably going to need a bunch more as we go along. Um, scarab bombs are the best thing in the game. Change my actual mind. Head down here. Uh, I just spilled a bunch of water, that's fine. Um, because there's like a bit of a water containment here. Depth meter, did I already have a depth meter? I feel like I did. But if I didn't, that's cool. And now, what we do is the magical, magical strategy of just throwing bombs. Acts of terrorism. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I nearly blew myself up. Uh, let me blow up some obsidian over here. Over here as well. Now, we got a bunch here. We got a bunch, and it took us, like, half a second. Um, yeah, look at all this. I didn't miss any, did I? You know what? It, having a treasure magnet right now would be actually not half bad. <laughs> um, there's some up here. There's a spore skeleton and I am drowning. Where's the mirror? Why don't I have my mirror, like, on me? Where's my mirror? Oh, here it is. I should probably put my mirror, like, here. Yeah, here we go. Now we can make the bar. And we also grabbed too much obsidian, but that's fine. Uh, let's click the new bunch, yes. And, um, see what the freak we can make. We are going to need the armor, but first things first, we're going to need the fiery great sword. Because we're going to immediately grab the blade of grass and the butcher. And we're going to take those to an altar. Um, the thing is... 10, so we need 30, 40, we can make that new armor, actually. Uh, how much are we going to have left after it? Nothing. Um, ah, we don't have enough space. In fact, we have too many bombs. I think, yeah, too many bombs. No, we have enough bombs? I don't know. I don't know anymore. We need a mannequin to store our stuff.
Where did I put the sawmill again? <laughs> I moved the sawmill. And here it is. Uh, I forgot I moved the sawmill. Um, um, I might as well put the silt in the extractinator. Some money. I don't need the tungsten. Because, um, yeah, I just don't. <clears throat> We're probably going to take these, like, we might build a mu museum. I was thinking of doing that sometime in the future to put all of our old crap and um, some weapons that we didn't quite use. Uh, we're gonna put the magma stone on here because that's something we're gonna need later. And we're also gonna put on the guide voodoo doll because, the, again, it's a special tool that'll help us later. Um, Mr. Man, Connor, this is probably the last time I'm gonna see you. Uh, that's kind of dark to think about, so, yep. Uh, Molten pickaxe. Uh, we don't need that much more. But what we do need is to take all of our stuff, I think, down to the crimson, because... Is that where an altar is? Is there one there? No, that's a pot. Um, there was actually an altar in the um, snow biome, so let's head down there. Um, I don't think I can cut it. I don't want to cut ahead, because, like... It's been a it's been a long day. It's been a long day. We never got our Sun Fury. That's that's the saddest part. We didn't get what we wanted from the underworld, but we also did because we made big fire sword that goes burr. Um, but we're not gonna really use it because we're gonna make it into an even better sword that also goes burr. And the best thing about the molten armor is it's a melee armor. We get 17 plus percent extreme melee damage. Um, Here's our altar here. With this, we can make the Knight's Edge 50 damage. That's insane. Knight's Edge. Now, this is a component for a couple things. Or one thing. Um, Connor, uh, let me demonstrate. If you can make, eventually in hard mode, the true Knight's Edge does 127 damage. And then you can combine that with another sword, the true Excalibur, to make the Terra Blade. And if we take a quick look um, over here, grab the enchanted sword, um, the Terra Blade is here, a thing we need for the ultimate endgame sword, wait, does it do less damage than a true Knight's Edge, it did 114, how much does a true Knight's Edge do, you gotta be kidding me, it does more, <laughs> that's insane, um, yeah, that's funny, um, but anyway, yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. Um, we did a bunch of stuff. We're probably going to reforge our Knight's Edge. Get a good modifier on it. Agile. Demonic. Worry. That's good. We might use this against the Wall of Flesh, but we're primarily going to use other things that we find in the other world that we're going to show you in the next episode, probably. But for now, I think it's about it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, comment for the YouTube algorithm to suggest more videos. Do all the happy things. Paint me some happy trees. And remember that there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye! I feel like I always have to do something after the outro, just because it's like tradition now to do some weird crap after the outro.